One gun that I brought out and I've used quite a bit is the uh, the Brocock Compato. It's a, a semi bullpup 22 caliber PCP. It's putting out, this gun's putting out about 28 uh, foot pound of energy. Um, and I'm shooting JSB 14 grain pellets, uh, round nose pellets with the, the uh, Doblo uh, pellets using a Hawk scope on top. Really nice setup. This gun is full length barrel even though uh, it's it's really short and, and the reason for that again is it's a semi bullpup they've moved the action back trigger moved up front but they haven't moved it all the way back to the buttstock so what you end up with is a carbine length rifle so it has a full length barrel in a carbine uh, format like this gun really uh, easy to carry around it's lightweight it's a great small game gun and I have complete faith in this gun uh, it's uh, its ability to, to hit out at 55 60 yards exactly where I put it I, I have more confidence with this than just about any other rifle I'm shooting right now and um, it's also very ergonomic very shootable I shoot it well offhand um, I shoot it well from a lot of different positions so anyway um, my plan is to take this this gun out for uh, for small gun. Before I went out hunting, I took the gun out on the range. I wanted to see what it was doing at 50 yards. So I set up a target. I shot a uh, first group at 50 yards off the bench at a spinner just to make sure I was pretty close to being on target. But then I printed a five shot group and the gun was pretty much on. I had a little bit of drift. I think it was due to uh, prevailing wind. So after I was finished sighting in, I got a ride to the back side of the ranch. My plan was to hike back out. It was about a two and a half, three mile hike. There are a lot of feeders out, pulling deer, and, and hogs come into them as well. But they also, because of the spillage, have rabbits coming in. And my plan was to work the road looking for rabbits. As I walked along, I heard a squealing. And I moved around to Ben, and I saw pigs in a wallow under one of the feeders. This pig was tucked right into this nasty stuff. He was feeding and walling and had no idea that I was sneaking in on him. Okay, it's a little pig, I'll grant you that, but uh, I was actually out rabbit hunting and uh, I was walking along and I heard grunting and uh, I slowly peeked my way around a, a corner and I saw this guy in the wallow and uh, I was able to stalk inside of about 35 yards and uh, I, I settled down and I just dropped the pellet right down his ear. I think you, you'll see from the footage, I haven't seen how it looks yet, but I, I think you'll see that uh, dropped in the ear, he just, he just twitched a couple times and rolled over. Unfortunately in the mud wallow, so I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit muddy myself after pulling him out. Okay, I don't recommend uh, 22 um, PCP. Um, as, a, as a primary pig gun, but this was a small pig. I knew I could get into range. I got complete faith in this gun. I've used it a lot. The Brocock uh, Compato is one of my favorite hunting guns for small game, and I knew I could drop this right down his ear at that, uh, that distance.